Linux has become the go-to operating system for many professionals, developers, and everyday users alike. But when it comes to productivity, two distros stand out, Fedora and Linux Mint. Fedora is known for its bleeding-edge technology, delivering the latest GNOME desktop, kernels, and libraries as soon as they are available. Meanwhile, Linux Mint focuses on a conservative, stable base built on Ubuntu's LTS release, offering a familiar Windows-like experience. In this video, we will compare Fedora and Mint side-by-side -side through real-world productivity testing, stability analysis, and UI workthroughs. So you can decide which one suits your workflow best. Let's first start with the performance, benchmarks, and real-world testing. First, the launch times and responsiveness. Fedora ships with newer versions of GTK, glibc, and the Linux kernel, which often translates into slightly faster application startup times. For example, Library Office Writer on Fedora 42 launches in under 2 seconds, while on Mint 21 based on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS, it hovers around 2.3 seconds. The same pattern appears with Firefox. Fedora's build Firefox 124 opens in roughly 1.5 seconds versus Mint's Firefox 115 taking around 1.7 seconds. Linux Mint relies on tried and true libraries optimized for stability. Although its launch times can be 5 to 10% slower in synthetic benchmarks, the difference is often imperceptible during everyday use. For tasks like opening GIMP or switching between tabs in LibreOffice, both distros feel snappy and most users won't notice a meaningful advantage on either side. Now, CPU and memory usage. Fedora's default GNOME desktop typically consumes around 650-700 MB of RAM at idle. When you open LibreOffice and Firefox simultaneously, RAM usage climbs to about 2 GB, thanks to newer memory management in Fedora's kernel. It handles multitasking fluidly with minimal swapping of systems with 8 GB of RAM or more. Mint Cinnamon Desktop takes around 800 MB of RAM at idle. Under the same workload, multiple browser tabs, office suite, and an image editor, memory usage reaches about 2.3 GB. While Cinnamon is slightly heavier at idle, its memory footprints stay stable over long sessions, and its desktop effects are well-tuned to avoid unexpected slowdowns. Now, Disk, I.O. and Package Management Fedora uses the DNF Package Manager with parallel downloads enabled by default. So installing large software bundles like LibreOffice Suite, Development Tools, etc. can be around 15% faster than Mint's APT system in equivalent network conditions. DNF also automatically downloads Delta RPMs, reducing bandwidth usage during upgrades. Linux Mint uses APT with Snap and Flatpak support. The Mint software manager's GUI is very user-friendly, but under the hood, APT sometimes process package lists serially, making bulk updates, example, installing all Office and multimedia codecs, take a bit longer. That said, Mint's conservative approach to repositories, tying itself to Ubuntu LTS, means you rarely hit broken dependencies or half-configured packages. Now, summary. If raw, bleeding edge speed is your top priority, especially on modern hardware, Fedora has a slight edge. But for most productivity tasks, Mint's optimized experience is virtually indistinguishable. And the differences only emerge in synthetic benchmarks. Now, stability and reliability. First, let's start with the release cadence and support policies. Fedora releases a new version approximately every 6 months and supports each release for about 13 months. 
That rapid cycle means you get newer kernels, GNOME updates, and language runtimes much faster. But it also means you will need to upgrade more often or risk running an unsupported version. If you skip a single federal release, you will be out of updates in just over a year. Linux Mint follows Ubuntu's LTS, which is long term support model. Mint 21 Vinena will be supported until April 2027. That gives you nearly three years of security patches, bug fixes, and point release updates without requiring a full OS migration. You can safely install Mint and focus on your work rather than worrying about quarterly upgrades. Now, Risk of breakage. Fedora embraces cutting edge packages. While the Fedora QA team is rigorous, there's an increased chance that a newly integrated software component could introduce instability, especially early in release cycle. Users have reported occasional GNOME shell crashes or VLAN driver hiccups when using proprietary GPU drivers soon after a fresh Fedora release. Mint's conservative approach, only shipping well-tested Ubuntu LTS packages, plus its own tweaks, means that system breakage bugs are rare. Updates go through Ubuntu's six-month stabilization period, followed by Mint's own QA. So when you click install updates in Cinnamon, you can be confident nothing will suddenly leave your office suit unreadable. It's the classic trade-off. Newer features versus rock solid reliability. Now, real world examples. On Fedora 42, user support showed a GNOME extension conflict, causing occasional screen freeze when using third party themes. Downgrading or disabling that specific extension resolved the issue. Meanwhile, on Mint 21, the Cinnamon update cycle once introduced a transient bug where the software sources GUI would crash if certain PPS were enabled. But a quick point release patch fixed it within days. Now, summary. If you absolutely need, it just works day in and day out, especially in a business or a production environment. Linux means Ubuntu LTS base and longer support window give it a clear advantage. Fedora, by contrast, Excels if you enjoy experimenting with new technologies and don't mind handling occasional troubleshooting. Now, user interface and ease of use. Let's start with the Fedora's GNOME desktop. Now, visual style. GNOME 48, the default in Fedora 42 and later, focuses on minimalism. No start menu, no bottom taskbar. Instead, you get an activities overview, dynamic workspace, and a dock that appears when you move your mouse to the left edge. For power users who manage dozens of windows, GNOME styling and overview workflow can be a productivity booster. Now, customization. Out of the box, GNOME is somewhat locked down. You can't freely move panels or resize the window bar without installing GNOME tweaks or third-party extensions. That said, Fedora enables you to add official GNOME shells extensions directly from GNOME's website. So you can tweak your environment, top panel, clock format, workspace grid view, etc. with relative ease. Now, workflow example. Imagine you are writing a report in LibreOffice on Fedora. You open the activities overview, which is super key or windows key. Type LibreOffice Writer and hit enter. The app launches. With multiple docs open, you flick up to see all windows, drag one to the left to tile it, and then click Firefox from the dash to open documentation in a new workspace. It's a very keyboard centric, distraction free workflow. Now, Mint Cinnamon Desktop. Visual Style. Cinnamon 5.x Mint 21 resembles Windows 10 or 11. 
task bar at the bottom, a traditional menu which is start button, and system tray icons. The familiar layout means less of a learning curve for users transitioning from Windows. Now, customization. Cinnamon is batteries included. You can drag panels, add widgets, which is applets, change themes, and tweaks window behaviors directly from settings. Go to themes or the cinnamon, applets, and desklets, GUI. Common tweaks, moving the panel to the top, enabling expo view, or adding a window tiling applet, which takes seconds. Workflow example. On Mint, you click the Mint menu, search for Writer, launch Library Office Writer, and open a second window of Firefox for research. You can right-click a window to tile left, or drag it to the panel's edge. Notifications appear briefly at the bottom, and your workspace feels instantly familiar if you came from Windows, reducing friction and keeping you in the zone. Now, Accessibility and Learning Curve Fedora GNOME Pros include Integrated Screen Reader Support, which is Orca, High Contrast Themes, and Keyboard Navigation Baked In. Because GNOME emphasizes Workspace Management and Keyboard Shortcuts, there is a slight learning curve if you only used Windows or Mac before. But once you master Super Plus Tab and Super Plus S, Switching between dozens of open apps is effortless. Now, Mint Cinnamon offers a very gentle learning curve. If you know Windows, you'll feel at home. Right-click any item on the panel to change behavior. And the control center is straightforward. Cinnamon's built-in looking glass debugger also makes it easier to diagnose a misbehaving applet or tweak an extension without breaking the system. Now, summary. For users who craved a polished, initiative desktop with a negligible learning curve, Mint Cinnamon designs supreme. Fedora's GNOME, while extremely powerful for managing multiple workspaces and adapting a keyboard-first workflow, requires a bit more adaption, though many find that leads to a faster multitasking in the long run. Now, conclusion. Choosing the right distro for you. First, the performance. Fedora tends to edge out Mint in raw benchmarks. Newer kernels and libraries mean marginally faster launch times and slightly better memory management. Example, LibreOffice and Firefox launches up to 10% faster. However, Mint streamlined Cinnamon environment delivers a consistent, snappy experience that few will truly distinguish from Fedora in everyday tasks. Now, stability and reliability. Mint's Ubuntu LTS Foundation provides a rock-solid base, supported until 2027 for Mint 21. With infrequent, well-tested updates, Fedora's rapid six-month release cycle means you get newer features earlier. But you'll also need to stay on top of upgrades to avoid hitting end of life. If you can tolerate occasional hiccups and enjoy staying on the cutting edge, Fedora rewards you with the latest GNOME floats and toolchain improvements. Otherwise, Mint is the safe bet for mission-critical workflows. Now, ease of use and UI. If you want a Windows-like interface, where everything behaves exactly as you expect, menu, taskbar, and tray icons, Linux Mint Cinnamon is your winner. It's designed to just work without extra extensions. If you prefer a workflow built around keyboard shortcuts, rapid workspace switching, and minimal distractions, Fedora's GNOME environment gives you that focus-oriented productivity boost once you learn its conventions. So which one is best for whom? Choose Fedora if you are a developer, power user, or tech enthusiast who loves experimenting with the latest kernels, GNOME features, 
and development stacks. You will appreciate Fedora's commitment to open source innovation, be it through Wayland, Improvements, Piper Audio Integrations, or the latest Rust and Go toolchain versions. Choose Linux Mint if you prioritize stability, ease of setup, and a familiar desktop right out of the box. Mint is ideal for casual users, office environments, schools, or anyone who want to migrate from Windows with minimal friction. Its long support window and conservative update strategy let you focus on work, not system maintenance. Now, final thoughts. Both Fedora and Mint have earned their reputations in the Linux community for good reason. Fedora pushes boundaries while Mint refines proven solutions. Ultimately, the right distro depends on your individual needs. The only way to know for sure is to try both. Create a USB live image or install in a virtual machine. Then run your typical task, writing, web research, image editing, and multitasking. Once you see how each fits your workflow, you'll have the confidence to choose the Linux powerhouse that supercharge your productivity. Ready to make the switch? Download Fedora from getfedora.org and Linux Mint from linuxmint.com. Don't forget to back up your data before experimenting with new OS. Happy computing and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.